Hello everybody and welcome back to more Let's Play Morrowind with Andil and the Slaves. <laughs> what an intro, right? Um, yes, today we're going to find out if um, these guys are actually going to cause an issue for me. I'm not too sure, I've never actually played around with this mod too much, so I don't know how the guards are going to react, but we'll see here so shortly, I'm sure. Yes, and that's exactly why we have, you know, only so many. Uh-oh. Um, you violated the law. Andal, since you don't have the 4,500 gold to pay the court, you must surrender your stolen goods and serve your sentence of punitive labor. Come with me. Um, God damn it. There's not a chance it's happening, mate. Surrender now and I might let you live. Oh, yeah. That's nice. You made this too easy. Oh, they're attacking him. That's amazing. Holy shit. Kill. You will not stop me in my endeavors, you pet, petty guard. Here, let me give you some of this. See how you like that. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Nope. 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 Okay. Yeah. That was expected. Alright, well... That's slightly saddening. Well, friends, I mean, I guess I'll... I guess I'll let you go. Um, yes, I can't be bothered with you anymore. There we go. Be on your way. Same with you, friend. Can't be bothered. Are you guys just gonna go back to where you were and just hang out there? They did just leave their slave collars here. Slave bracers. Oh no, they're just kind of hanging out in the cave. Okay. Well, fine. So be it. Oh, why are you still coming after me? What? What is the problem with you, guard? You run so fast. Oh my god. Oh, it's going to be annoying. It's going to be very annoying here. I let them go. Dude, come on. Ah, Balls. Where is this even at? This quick save? Oh yes, it's back here, isn't it? Um, did I? Uh oh. Oh balls! Why do I have a bounty right now? That doesn't make any sense. Hold on. Let's see. Do I actually? Or is it? No, I have zero bounty. What? I'm very confused by this. Go free. Go free. Was it because I murdered you? Are the slaves gonna rat me out for killing you? Is that is that what the problem was? Did I let you free? No, I took you as a slave. My bad. I'm sorry. Go go free. Uh, that's gotta be it, right? So I don't think he had actually had a problem with them hanging around me. I think it was because I murdered her. Which doesn't... Ow. What the hell? Either way, they can just stay there, I suppose. I really can't be bothered with them at this point. I don't really know where I can sell them anyway, so... Yeah. They'll just stay. Are you gonna be... No, okay. He's not coming over to molest me this time. That's good. It's very good. Alright, well, we've got that situated. So yeah, it was because I murdered her. Apparently the slaves are like, Oh god, he murdered our friend. Take him, take him to jail. Even though, when he attacks me, they attack him. Morrow and logic. I don't know. I don't know. Whatever. What do you do? What do you do? I guess we're on our way to Balmora now. Or should I, um... I think I should rest first, actually. We're a bit low on Magicka here. We might as well. Might as well take a little rest. Yeah, so welcome to, um... Origir backtracks back and forth because he's trying to figure out what happened to why he's being arrested and you know shit like that. Alright, until healed. There we go. How many hours was that? Oh, it's 9 a.m. Must have been quite a few. Well, that's actually convenient then. I should pick up a bedroll, make it more, you know, immersive or whatever. But, uh, I don't know, it seems like a waste of money, quite frankly. 
for something that's just kind of, um, aesthetic, I suppose. Whatever. Let's grab these little guys. Grab a few more mushrooms. Make ourselves a nice little mushroom stew later. We could. We have enough of the fucking things. Isn't there a chest around here? Oh, yeah. It's right there. I'm blind. Do not mind me. 25 gold. Thank you. Violet Coprinus. More of those. There's a hell of a lot of them. And a mud crab, which I shall shove a spear into. Come here, you. Two mud crabs. A mighty foe. This will require some aid. Let us fight these. A mighty foe indeed. Can't even hit the thing. It's slow as hell and a giant fucking rock, but I can't hit it with a spear. I should tell you how good I am with one. My god. I did just notice that there is a guy here with a dagger sticking out of his skull. Who looks like he had a little bit too much to drink. Probably got into a brawl with someone over something stupid and they uh, decided that death was the only option for him. I have to say, it seems fitting as far as I'm concerned. I will take that though, thank you. Alright, I guess this way then, huh? Yeah, we'll just walk there. I mean, the roads don't seem that dangerous. Celis Gravia seemed a little, a little too concerned about my uh, well-being. To, or, uh, seemed to... I guess, um, underestimate my abilities, I suppose, is the better way to put it. Underestimate my abilities. Hello, guard. Nope, I have not murdered anyone today, so you don't have to worry about me, thank you. Hello. How are we doing? Alright then. It's good talk. It's great chat. Oh, we actually can go into this tower here. Oh, and there is a guard up there. Looks like they might be an archer. I wonder if they would actually shoot at you from up there, or knowing the game engine, they'd probably run all the way down here to shoot you at like point blank range. I would imagine that being more I the case. Imagine eating one of those things. Eating one of what? A scroll? That's what I was looking at. Who are you talking to? Oh, there's actually quite a few guards in here. Hello. Yeah, you are an archer. Go ahead, stranger. Nothing. I don't have to say anything. I'm just here. You do have a steel spear, though. That is broken. Completely broken. I suppose that would be one reason to get armor, but... Well, it's a little late now, isn't it? Not that it's really a problem. They have so much condition, in fact, that I don't foresee it ever being an issue. Alright, I assume this is the other tower, then, that we're climbing here. Which means this should probably bring us out next to that other Imperial Archer. Like yet yeah, whoa. Close to the fire, don't you? Mm. I I guess in a way, sure. What was that? Yeah. Alright. Sorry, I didn't mean to get up in your personal space. Is that what you were meaning by fire? Are you like threatening me right now? I'm not even sure. Not even sure what to do about these Imperials, honestly. Whatever. I'll just join them and make them think that I uh, care about their cause. Probably get high up in their ranks too just because doing stuff for people seems to make them uh, give you uh, bonuses I suppose. Uh, whatever. Anyway. Uh, I suppose we're probably good to leave now. This didn't seem to be a fruitful adventure here. I'm very surprised that it actually has like an underground that goes under it and back up. That's a little weird. I guess it is what it is. It's like a sort of little fort, I suppose. Hello, flowers. Some heathers. Or heathers, I don't really know. And golden gnats. Or knat. Knet? I don't know. I don't even think I could pronounce that in my last Let's Play either. Whatever. What do you do? What do you do? 
Ooh. Have a little sort of strange looking tomb, if I had to assume. Not sure. An ancestral tomb with very strange sounds in it. All right, well, you know, I don't think I'm above grave robbing at this stage in the game, I suppose. You know, I am not that very far along and I'm pretty poor. So I don't really have anything against it. There are some strange sounds coming from this place though. So I'm not sure how long we really want to stay here. I do like how my Curus is under the robe and then my pauldron is on the outside. It's amazing. Whatever. Whatever. Did I get both right pauldrons? I did. He had two right pauldrons on him for some reason. Dead Dunmer. Silly Dunmer. He can't wear two right pauldrons. So, oh god. There's a ghost here. Hello, ghost. How we doing? Have some magic to your face. Actually, thinking about that, I do have spells specifically for your kind. Um, blessed touch and... Oh, not inventory. And blessed word. Yeah, that might be useful to actually use in here. Considering. Probably gives a decent amount of restoration XP too, I would imagine. Or probably casting spells all give equal amounts of XP regardless. Which is probably the case. Let's be honest here. Ugh. What are you, friend? Whatever you are, you are phasing through the door. Can I hit you? Get back in the door. <laughs> I think <laughs> I think it did register as me attempting to hit it. Oh, I am hitting it. All right then. Oh. Oh, did I do it? Did it? Oh, okay. Apparently not. Oh God. Oh wow. Well, okay then. That happened. Holy shit! I did not expect that to happen like that. Okay, he hits pretty hard, and apparently it didn't really work that well. My spell, anyway. That is still very loud. Turn that back down a little bit. Um, let's go ahead and get these back on here. Blessed touch. Blessed word. Let's see. Um, ghost, I have a present for you. Did it work? Ow! Okay, apparently not. What the hell? Does it have a chance to do up to 20? Undead 20 points for 10 seconds. What does 20 points mean? Is that like 20 levels or is that... I don't even know. I don't even know what that means. Ah. Uh. Oh well. What do you do? Guess we'll summon a skeleton this time, seeing how we got fucking nailed by those things. Here, let's go ahead and just, um, elemental blast you through the door. Run away. Summon a skeleton. Is he gonna... Oh, apparently they have no idea what they're doing here. Getting stuck on a door. Yes, let's tag team him. Spears in hand. Good job. Alright, now, there is a skeleton in here. He might be a friend of yours. I don't know. You'll have to kill him regardless, okay? Keep that in mind. Where is he? Where is he? Is he not in here? It would appear he is not in here. There is something down there, though. It probably wouldn't be a good idea to fall down there. It might actually just kill me outright. I do need a pestle and mortar here, I realize. Absolutely am in need of one of those. Very soon to start making my own potions. Did he damage anything, by the way? I know they're notorious for damaging your um, strength. I guess we'll try this blessed word here, see if it's any use. At least it's at target, so I can do it from a distance. It's very weird sounds. I do not like it. 
I do not understand how a tomb emanates sounds like this. It's, it's, it's very strange to me. Hello. Did that work? He's still coming at me with a warhammer. I would, I would assume that did not work. Just, just an educated guess there. I'd rather not find out by having a warhammer slung into my face. Fucking hell. All right then. I still don't understand why you're emanating light, but I guess, or emitting, what is wrong with me? Guess I'll never find out. Okay, he has a shield and a warhammer. Like, that makes sense. Die, please. I should really be using shield, I realize. I have a bad habit of not doing that. Should I just wear a shield with my spear? Does that actually increase your armor? It does. It actually does increase your armor if you wear a shield with it. Even when I have it out, it's still increasing my armor. That is silly. I'm not doing that because that just that is just silly. I'm not doing that at all. That's just like pure metagaming metagaming right there. I'm just I'm just not down with that. There is useful uh, alchemical ingredients in here though. I can't complain. All right. Let's restore some health here. Pretty low. Shield is a little more challenging to cast. It probably consumes a bit more magicka, so I'm kind of, kind of hoping I can cast it and get it with one go. That is the hope. Which is why I need more stamina regen, honestly. Oh, heard something. I heard something. What is English? Here, have a skeleton. He's just using, like, a shank. Let's flank him. He'll never see it coming. Apparently my spear is just, like, phasing through his ribs. That's what I'm assuming. Like, the spear is just going in between his ribcage, because I don't know how I miss that often, but... Yeah, I mean, we'll just assume that happened. For the sake of... Me not getting annoyed with the uh, combat system in this game. Not that it really annoys me, because later on, it's quite nice. But at the beginning, it can be definitely annoying when you have low skill in it. Uh, weighs 28, but it's worth 200. Hmm. Well, I can't carry it. That's, that's just a basic fact. Uh, we will just use this. Basically waste it. I mean, there's no reason not to. It'll repair a little bit, and it just reduces weight in my inventory. Yeah, as far as this, I just, I, I can't carry it. I mean, that weighs 1.5, value 4. I mean, I guess I could throw that in there. Same with the iron dagger and the iron longsword. Then we can take it, I suppose, since it's actually worth its weight in gold, but... Yeah. Yeah. Alright, well, this place is actually pretty large. It's quite the tomb. Nothing like Altmer tombs, but yeah. I guess they are Dunmer after all. They have their own way of dealing with the dead. Even though they don't seem to deal with them well because they keep coming back, but... Yeah. What do you do? Guess I'll just have to clear it out for them. I don't really have a problem with that. I'll just take all of their uh, donations to their dead as well. Because, uh, money. Money, money, which we're at 117 right now, and once we sell all of, uh, all of the good shit, we should have quite a bit more money, so... Cannot complain. I cannot complain. What is that? That is a yellow exclamation mark. Very good. What the hell are you? A crippled skeleton. I'm not sure why that's a thing, but... We'll just get rid of that. I don't know what mod that's part of, um, because I've definitely had Morrowind Rebirth installed before. Maybe they updated it or something, I don't know. That's weird. Uh, yeah. Hmm. Not sure what to say about that. There shouldn't be any issues. I, I ran Mlox, you know, the Morrowind load order, 
fixer upper or whatever the fuck you want to call it. I ran that and um, I made sure my archives were installed properly, all activated. I assume everything is installed properly and I haven't had any crashes in all the testing I've done. And I haven't had any crashes in this let's play so far, so yeah. I don't even crash when exiting the game and holy shit that's a lot of skeletons. Here, have one of your own. Fucking whack. And there's another one in there. Or a um bone walker, one or the other. Oh shit, they killed that skeleton pretty quick. Have another. Die! Damn my skills. Again, it's just phasing through the ribcage. Whew. Can't believe your friend died so easily like that. Holy crap. You guys are weak. Need to start summoning bone walkers or something. Good grief. They're tough enough. Tough enough to take a hit. Nope, I didn't want to do that. So it seems like um when I press E in a creature's inventory. I didn't actually want to do that either. Seems like when I press E in something's inventory, it actually disposes of body. Are you a skeleton or a bone walker? What are you? Oh my god, what is that? Um... We're just gonna quick save. I... What are you? You do not look friendly. In any way, shape, or form. I don't want your magic touching me either, please. It's got a shield now. And I'm over encumbered, it's just turn- what? What is going on? Kill this thing, please. Skeleton. You're attacking me, why? What is- What is happening? Death, that is what's happening. Holy crap. What is this thing? I've never seen that before. That is something new. Holy shit. Um, do we have a magic potion or anything? I did just kind of screw myself by uh, quick saving here, so... We're in a bit of trouble. Needless to say. Um, hmm. I could try chameleon. Or ch 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 chameleoning. I don't even know if that's like a plural or a verb, rather. But we can try chameleon. I could try elemental bursting it down. But I'm not sure that's gonna be terribly effective. Beep, beep, beep. Ah! Skeleton! Distract it! Distract it while I leave. This thing is way too powerful for me, clearly. My god. It's beating the shit out of the skeleton right now. While I just flee. Best plan. Best plan I've ever come up with in my life. God damn. I, f I feel like that's a lich, but I, I don't think so. I'm pretty sure liches walk, so I'm not entirely sure. And I think they don't have four arms either, so I really have no idea what the hell that thing is. All I know is it's... I I'm running. That's all I know. It must be guarding something powerful. Not a clue. That is some creepy shit, though. Huh. Huh. Yeah. Y you'd think I'd be an expert in these things, but, um, Marwin has some... As, as a necromancer, you'd think I'd be an expert in these things, but Marwin has some more... varying undead that I'm used to, and, um... I'm just not able to deal with that one, it would seem. So we're just gonna ignore that. And pretend like I've never seen that in my life, because I've never ha I never have. And we'll pretend like, um, I never went into that tomb. Because that's probably frowned upon, and that's probably actually a guardian, rather than, you know, them just letting their undead come back to life. Probably place them there. So yeah, we'll ignore that. Not a problem. <laughs> oh boy. Oh man. Oh, we'll pick some more heather, I suppose. Maybe we'll actually buy a pestle and mortar when I get to town. 
speaking of which, hello, this must be Pelagiad if I had to guess. I believe I've gone the correct way. Balmora is marked on my map. We're hardly even making our way there, god damn. Got a long way to go, it would seem. We'll stop here, though. I suppose. What time of day is it? It's 5 p.m. Is it really? It does not feel like it. Whatever. I won't, uh... Won't argue. Game knows best. Um, stone flower. I thought that said sunflower at first. Alright, well. I guess we'll stop here. Probably for the evening, honestly. We'll try and make some potions. See how successful we are. I don't imagine we'll be terribly successful, but we'll give it a shot anyway. All these lovely people everywhere. It's good to be in a, a safer area, I suppose. I can imagine clearing one of those crypts out and maybe setting up there, but I don't know. Why are you whistling? I don't know that I would want to do that. It just doesn't seem... I don't know, it seems filthy. So we got a pestle and mortar here, but I don't see a door unless it's around here. Yeah, it is. Alright, we're gonna have to, you know, drop some stuff here. Drop the illegal shit anyway. Just so that way we can actually uh, sell to this person. Uh, and purchase from them, of course. Can't have any illegal stuff. I'll just leave that there. Hopefully no guard. You know what? No, I'm not going to risk that. We're going to put it back here. It's no guard sees it. You know, for role-playing purposes, because I'm pretty sure you could drop this right in front of a guard and pick it right back up, and the guard won't give a shit. All right. Stupid imperial laws. Hello. Pleased to meet you, stranger. You planning to be in Pelagiad long? Then you'll want to know where the services are. No, I think I just want to barter with you at this point. Oh man, that shit is expensive. Right? You don't buy that. Of course not. You don't buy that either. You probably buy only alchemical shit, don't you? What about the restore luck? Yeah, you can have that. I don't imagine I'll ever use a potion like that. I suppose I will buy a pestle mortar off you. Though it does weigh a lot. God damn it. Hey god. Let me go ahead and um, sell to some other vendors here, see if I can lose the weight. Like this battle axe that I have. That needs to go. Probably to you. As long as you actually buy weapons and don't just buy armor. I'd be very upset. You do only buy armor. Damn you! I guess I have these then. Yep, I have all of this shit, seeing how you're gonna be like that. You are not gonna buy a belt, but you'll buy gloves. Really? Okay. Okay. What? Whatever. Guess I won't argue it. I really can't. Bloody hell. I'm just gonna slam it down on your counter and be like, you're gonna, you're going to accept this, or you're going to face my spear. You'll be swallowing a spear, friend. Euphemism intended. Alright. You will be taking the dick. Let's barter. What is this about creepy looking book? I get the weirdest customers in here sometimes. Why well, just the other day a strange man came in and tried to sell me a creepy looking book filled with ancient fun funnery, incantations, and burial rites. Certainly not the sort of thing I'd buy. Not at the price he asked. Really? Yes, I believe it is a it was bound in human flesh and inked with blood. That sort of thing just gives me the shivers. Hmm. Sounds like something that I'd be willing to dabble with. Is that the heart of an ash monster? Well, I'm pleased to know it's dead. I'm not willing to risk the disease by having it here. Try taking it to the alchemist. I'm sure they'll be... They'll... They're more equipped for these things. Oh. Really? What is it? What do I have that you're... It's obviously... Oh, it's the ghoul heart. Okay. There. It's on the floor now. Alright. Thank you. <laughs> it's 
on the floor. You don't have to worry about it. It's not going to infect you. It hasn't even infected me, so you really have nothing to worry about there, dude. I don't even know why I have these chitin' throwing stars, but whatever. Yeah, we're going to get like 350 gold off this. Damn. I should probably sell these. I really have no use for them, and I think they're worth a decent chunk of change, and yes, they are. Absolutely. And those things look crazy. Look at those glass throwing stars. Damn. Those things look badass. I'd use them if I was into that. Did I just see Ebony? Yeah, Ebony Pauldron left. Wow. Wow, that's interesting. Let's see. A miner's pick? Ha! <laughs> that's a great weapon. An iron halberd. Now that might be interesting to use instead of the spear I'm using. Definitely would be more damaging. Is that all the weapons you have? Yeah, seems like all the weapons I would be interested in. Yeah, I mean, we could try it. Might as well. Does what, 6 to 20? This does 6 to 20. I think it would be more interesting anyway. Yeah. Alright. Thank you. Let's go buy our uh, alchemy gear now. Object is broken. Thank you for selling me a broken halberd. Guess I'll go fix that now. Asshole. I didn't even realize that. I guess that's my own fault for not realizing he was selling me a broken object. Fucking hell. Wow. I was expecting the axe head to be a little bit bigger, but that's pretty cool. Attacks much faster than I would have expected, but yeah, whatever. I won't, uh, I won't deny it. Not gonna just, uh, get rid of it. Alright. Let's have a little barter here for your pestle and mortar. What's the heaviest? Your calcinator. Calcinator is very heavy. We'll buy the retort. And the Alembic? God damn, this shit's heavy. Yeah, it is. That weighs 30. That's costing me five, almost all my gold. Alright, you know what? What's actually going to help the most? The Journeyman Alembic? Yeah, I will. We'll sell that back to you. Don't want it. We'll see if we can get, like, a 40 coin discount. Like that much. There we go. Thank you for being reasonable. 172 gold. Shall we try and make some potions now? Let's um, let's actually let our stamina regenerate. While we're waiting for our stamina to regenerate, let's take a look in here, see what this guy's got. Because I believe he's also got a bit of armor. Or, sorry, gal. Oh, you don't actually sell it. You just sell the repair, repairing equipment. Why do you have the armor on your shelf then? For potential thieves? I guess. I guess so, yeah. Alright, let's try and make some potions now. Whoa. The screen's a little bit different. Um, hmm. Got water walking. Boy, I don't even know. Salt rice, I know is going to be good. Do we have wick wheat? I don't think we do. Hacko leaf, restore fatigue. Yep. Yeah. Let's make some of those. Oh, potion failed. Potion failed. Okay, never mind. Let's try and create this. Need a name. Um, test potion. Caps lock is on. Test potion. Let's see what this creates. Potion failed. Potion failed. Potion failed. Okay. Surprise, surprise. Do we have anything that gives water breathing? Oh, paralysis. Hello. And paralysis. Potion failed. Okay. <laughs> Cork bull brute. Um, what else do we have? Oh, water walking. Uh, what she gives that? There we go. Let's try these. Potion failed. God damn. Better give me a lot of experience when I actually succeed at this. Otherwise, I'll be very upset. Store attribute tokenesis. Um, restore fatigue. 
seriously. Wow. I'm, wow, I'm very surprised at how poorly this is working for me. Hmm. Yeah, I guess we'll just, nope. I figured that was gonna happen. Levitate, do I have another levitate? I feel like I do. I have another restore fatigue. We'll give it a shot. Like the most basic of potion. Yeah, there we go. We made one. Finally. Restore Magicka. I don't feel like we have any. Oh, we do have another one that restores Magicka. Oh, no, it's Fortify Magicka. My bad. My bad. Restore health. Boy, this is. This is epic. Alright, I think we're done with that garbage. 4 XP for all of that failure. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. I'm so happy we invested in alchemy. We're gonna need some training in that, clearly. God damn, dude. Spell, fortify, attribute, yeah, whatever. Alright. I suppose we shall rent an inn for the evening now. And then, tomorrow we will be off to Balmora. Hopefully to actually arrive there.